Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. For access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hello everyone, checking in on the markets here. So we did have bearish follow through and it actually took a little while to, for it to follow through where we had a pullback, but then the bulls controlled a bit of a bounce. It ended up being a bear flag on the hourly time frame, but it was a solid bounce. So almost all of the bearish action really occurred in the last second half of the day. And even, even later than that, the last two hours of the day. And the volume really picked up then because we were on pace to be about 80 million shares or so. We had about an hour left and then the volume poured in. And after hours, a lot more volume came in with the shares settling from earlier in the day. So it is notable that we did see increasing volume. And again, the close at the low of the day favors the bears. We've yet to see a follow through on the initial dump. We had gap downs and that obviously showed a lot of bearish momentum. And we had a higher open today. So I'm looking to see, you know, the bears really need to prove themselves here. And if they see a, kind of a gap down and an increased volume again, that's certainly going to get our attention. But right now we're watching this low on the daily time frame. It's support at 269.64. As long as that level holds, it is still a higher low. Now, because I'm looking at the weekly time frame and like in the last couple of videos, I'm pointing out how I'm anticipating a bit of an equilibrium pattern with a lower high being set and then a higher low being set as the range tightens up over the next couple of weeks that would likely favor that the daily chart is going to lose this higher low. Now we'll have to see if that's going to be the case. We might have to see a little lower high and a lower low for a bearish reversal head and shoulders pattern, but tomorrow's going to be very telling in terms of how much follow through can the bear see. The hourly RSI on SPY is approaching oversold, but we still have a ways before we will get there, all depending on what pre-market does, of course. So that's what I'm looking at in the Dow. Following through again, volume the same as yesterday, but again, the close at the low of the day shows the momentum. The level for the bulls to hold is 24,793, but the weekly chart tells me that level could be lost sooner rather than later. So we have our high, low, lower high, and still need more follow through. Again, this is only the beginning makings of this equilibrium pattern. And every single day I'm looking for more confirmation. And today shifted the percentage odds that this is a weekly equilibrium in favor of it being that uh, a bit today because of that follow through. Uh, IWM on the daily following through with the bears again, Every single market here closing down with the low, a uh, significant increase in bear volume, and we've already lost the higher low pattern. So we didn't get too much continuation after building that base, which is why it's breaking first. And that level was 151.67. And here we are down looking at just support of 150.56, and then a long way down to these support levels from the initial bounce up down in the low 147s. So this has already broken the higher low. So that even more so than the other two has shifted the odds in favor of the weekly equilibrium setup. So even if the so when these other two, if these other two break the daily high or low, odds will shift to favor that weekly equilibrium. The theme of the video is weekly equilibrium. So VIX on the daily time frame got some follow through, but again, we haven't broken the lower high pattern yet. 2134. We've gotten to a high of 2044. So we're certainly getting close, but until we break that level, it's just a lower high on this bounce. And if we were to pull back, then we would stay in a lower high pattern. So that would favor the consolidation to continue. We have to break that pattern to be looking for the bulls to show up with higher lows and higher highs. So we will be looking for a bull MAC decross if that's the case. And again, tomorrow's a pretty important day. Can the bulls break that resistance? And can the spy bears and the market bears break those higher lows of support? Weekly time frame bullish reversal candlestick forming this week and has to be confirmed with follow through next week. And we would be looking for a lower high if we did make it up with some continuation for the bulls. So that's where we stand. Again, these videos are going to be fairly, uh, I guess every day we get more information on the daily chart, but the weekly charts are going to look pretty similar day after day. And I'm going to be saying the same thing. So we'll have to keep our eyes on the volume. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.